Hello, I'm Justin, your personal DPNM ecosystem assistant. In this video, we will understand what a liquidity pool is, how it is filled, and why does the DPNM token always grow in price? Let's start with one basic rule, how the market price of a coin is formed. Imagine there is a shop that sells coins. There are 100 coins for sale, and each coin is worth $1. Bob comes to the shop. Bob has $10 and wants to buy 10 coins. The seller agrees to sell Bob $10 worth of coins, but only upon the fee for the sale of 20%. Bob agrees and pays the $10. Deducting the 20% fee, Bob gets 8 coins, and the shop removes 2 coins from the sale. This is how the deflationary model starts to work when there are fewer and fewer coins, but more and more coins are secured. As we see from this example, in the beginning, the shop had 100 coins with value of $100. But due to fees for purchasing coins, some of them have been removed from circulation, and now there are only 98 coins backed with the same $100. So the price of one coin is $1.02. One simple operation has increased the price of one coin by 2%. But at the same time, this shop is ready to buy those coins back from Bob at any time, but at a price 2% higher than Bob bought them. In our case, the role of such a shop is performed by a smart contract created in the blockchain network. Its task is to sell and buy coins from those who want them. It is not controlled by anyone, cannot refuse to buy or sell, and is always ready to securely store the collateral for each coin. Coin collateral is called a liquidity pool. It is like a safe that gives out collateral only when users sell tokens and accumulates it when users buy tokens. This is how the price of a DPNM token grows. Each time a DPNM token is sold, it is also paid a fee, which increases the price. The fees in the end stay in the collateral pool in BUSD. Over time, a situation arises where thousands of users buying and selling a DPNM token increase its price due to the paid fees. The token collateral pool in BUSD grows and the number of DPNM tokens decreases. But that's not all. There are constant transactions in the ecosystem that increase the DPNM token collateral pool without even burning it. For example, every time a GWT token that users use to expand their marketing opportunities is transferred, a fee payment is made, and from each fee payment, one BUSD goes into the DPNM token liquidity pool. Each time a user makes an activation with positioning in the tree, a portion of the funds goes to the DPNM token liquidity pool. Part of the income from partner companies that cooperate with the project is also sent to the liquidity pool. These are cryptocurrency exchanges, cryptocurrency wallets, and this list is constantly expanding. Up to 10 sources feeding the DPNM token liquidity pool will increase the price of the token, even if no one buys or sells it. Token price growth is directly dependent on the number of users and their activity. Imagine how the collateral pool could grow when there are 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000 users in the ecosystem. They will be constantly selling and buying the DPNM token, pay activation fees to use the tree, and make GWT token transfers, thereby feeding the liquidity pool. In this video, we have come to understand that the price of a token is influenced solely by mathematical laws and the laws of large numbers. A DPNM token cannot fall in value, cannot depreciate, and there can be no situation where you cannot sell it because the collateral pool is managed by a smart contract on the blockchain network and always has collateral that exceeds the value of the created DPNM tokens. The smart contract is ready to ensure that any number of DPNM tokens are redeemed from any user. With you was Justin. Watch my tutorials on how the GWT token works, what extra income opportunities there are in a marketing program, how blockchain works, and other videos. I wish you luck.